Hey, how's it going, everyone? I hope you're doing well, having a wonderful day. As always, as you know, the world is upside down. Like, things are crazy. And I would like to make a correction. I made, like, a really big mistake in a video I made that I put on BitChute. Um, where I said that Posey Parker was attacked in Australia. And I was like completely wrong, dude. It was like New Zealand. And uh, this was brought to my attention. And yeah, like a rookie mistake. Pretty bad. But uh, I just want to point out, yeah, I smeared the people of Australia. And I'm really sorry, you Aussies. It was New Zealand where this abhorrent thing happened but i'm gonna this video is going on youtube and it's going all of my videos are going bit shoot all my videos are going bit shoot regardless um but i don't know i my channel is i'm not putting up anything i don't know i don't know may 30th that's when my first strike like disappears so that being said, let's hop into this. We're going to old school. We're going back to the old school cops episodes. And we're going to make fun of the cops here <laughs> and the criminals. But this, this cop is funny. This is like 1989. So I was like three years old. My woman, she was either cooking or she was out. She was running around. And uh, yeah, this, this cop is hilarious. He's like pulling over white people and he's like, yeah, these white people, you, you're in the wrong area. You know what's going to happen? Like they're going to uh, put a gun to your head and steal your car. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. This is the cops serving and protecting the fuck out of us. Well, I mean, that this actually is just funny. He doesn't beat the shit out of anyone or anything like that. <laughs> Look at this dude. He was rolling around 1989. He was stopping crime. And he was. This dude is funny. In the neighborhood and because of the drug related crimes. I like how they just walk up to this car and just open the door and pull him out. <laughs> Wait, what? You got anything in a car you know about? You got any drugs or any weapons? You mind if I look? They're like, dude, we know who you are. We've been waiting to arrest you till we were on camera. <laughs> we know you have guns. Oh, oh, just gonna take a look. Did he like uh? What was the probable cause there? But then again, you have to go back and be like, what was the probable cause the Supreme Court had decided? Carrying sealed firearms. Understand? Okay. What car is this? Who? Carrying sealed firearms. Okay, no problem. How's everybody doing? Y'all going to jail? For some drugs and clean up the bad people off the street. You don't mind that, do you? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go arrest somebody. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I kind of like this guy, actually. Some days they win, some days I win. That's all it is. Now, what you can do sometimes, you can sit right here. And watch all the white people come in. Yeah. <laughs> I like this, dude. This, this guy, it's like... It's like a time capsule. I love that about like watching like older stuff. I made a documentary on BitChute that is uh, about Vietnam veterans, and I don't know. They they had this like situation. So oh no! They had this situation with uh, Vietnam veterans. Anything in a car? You know about? You got any Shit. Okay. Oh no! I fucked up. It's anyway, it's a time capsule, and it's um, it's interesting to watch this shit. And this dude, he's just sitting there, and it's 1989, and he's like, yeah, this is a good place to park. You park here, and you see white guys come in the community, and you know every single one of them is getting drugs. Because that's what this community is all about. <laughs> and it's like um, a rare sense of, like, I don't know, being honest, right? Like, he's like, yeah, that's the only reason anyone comes here. And today... People will just be, that's racist, that's fucked up. And it's like, no, the cops know that. And today, you know, the cops are like, the cops don't even want to get involved. Like, the <laughs> institutions of policing in this country have been, I don't know, let's say taken down a notch. Hey, to buy their dope? 97. Let's watch them. 
then when they go down the street, give them about a minute, they go around the corner, and there they are dealing. <laughs> That's right. Down the street, I see you the, the, these damn white people come here. I know what they're coming here for. Yeah, I gotta go arrest somebody. That's <laughs> a game out here. That's all I wear. <laughs> some days they win, some days I win. That's all it is. Now, what you do sometimes is you sit right here, and you'll see the white guys come in here and make a right turn on two nine way to buy their dope. Nine to seven. Just watch them. And then when they go down the street, give them about a minute. And he's like, what are you doing here? What are you doing in this fucking, this fucking park neighborhood? Wait, he's all in his face and shit. He's got his game face on, look. <laughs> and then he's come to some other white guy. They just, just stay there, don't move. Then they cut to, like, they cut. They had to let him go because he, he probably was being, he's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm trying to visit my grandma and I'm lost. <laughs> this is back when motherfuckers had maps, right? Like actual physical maps and not like their fucking iPhones and shit telling them directions. <laughs> so clearly there was no rest made there. He's like, oh, what? He's like, yeah, white guy like you. No, you're not. I'm from California. You got some ID? Let's look at it. You know what uh, back when California was a decent state. Yes, but what happens is they usually get yanked out of the car. If they give you look easy. Just to whip you and take your car. You hear that? He's like, you know what happens to white guys like you on this side of town, huh? You know what happens? Man, to give me the charger. Your shit's about to die. You're fucking up the video. No, you're not good. Thank you, sweetie. No. Uh, you know what happens to white guys like you? These pox, they'll pull you out the car, they'll pistol whip you, take your shit, grab your wallet, and you'll be sitting here. <laughs> this cop, you love this cop. Back in the 80s, is what it was like, folks. They told these white kids, they were like, yeah, you, you get the fuck out of this black neighborhood. California, you got some ID? Yeah. Let's look at it. And really, kind of probably good advice, but it's hilarious and blatant. Yeah, yanked out of the car. Right, look at that beautiful mullet right there. God, that is one hell of a mullet. You see that? We didn't get to see his face. We saw his mullet. Though. Oh, there he is. Here they hold on. Maybe we'll get a shot. Sound fair? You get the fuck out of this neighborhood. I'm the only white face in this area. You don't belong here. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. That's fuck fucking hilarious. Like I, I actually is it weird that, like, this is just, like, conventional wisdom and people are like, it's racist. But it's like, no, dude, I lived in certain... I lived in an area that is, like, an area you really shouldn't be in. Like, and yeah, if you're white, it doesn't help. Like, like people are like, that's racist. Uh, these these women, these liberal women, it's like they want to... I don't know, someone, some jogger got killed or something and they were, like, jogging. I'm like, yeah... Would you jog through this zip code? Or I got some zip codes for you to jog through. No, you wouldn't dare. And it just conventional wisdom, you shouldn't be here. This is a dangerous area. And people are like, what do you mean by that? There's a bunch of Mexicans everywhere. Yeah, there's a bunch of fucking fucked up Mexican criminals everywhere. Yeah, I lived in there. And in this case, they're talking is a black area. <laughs> it's a it's a black area of town. So, but you know, it was the '80s. There weren't so many Mexicans or fucking. See me? I'm the only white face in this area, besides other cops. You don't belong here, okay? It has nothing to do with white or black. It has to do with crimes against persons. People that come over here to buy drugs, get involved in serious crimes. Come over to the car here. You know what he's doing, really? He's like, look, brother, as a fellow Caucasian, I'm looking out for your safety. 
and you don't belong here. <laughs> just the police bluntly. Just, and like, wouldn't this be like considered like harassment? <laughs> like, especially today. Imagine a cop with his body cam on doing this and talking like this today. <laughs> wouldn't happen. Okay. Just sit in the back of the car until we confirm this might be a warrant for your arrest. Just sit in the car. Oh, yeah, you might go to be going down, so shut the fuck up. Well, we have to get a confirmation number. What is, what is it for? Okay. Violation of probation. Uh, yeah, it's it's going down. Clean, you're on your way. Well, there's a warrant for your arrest. We can't let you go. Yeah, that just goes without saying. There's a warrant for your arrest. Speaking of, I have to show up to court on the 19th. Uh, so I don't know. I, I I hopefully get it dismissed. It's not. It's not. It's a traffic ticket. It's traffic tickets, folks. It's not like you know anything. I'm. I, I didn't. Traffic tickets. My tags are out. My brakes. I made a video on this. I put it on BitChute. If you have watched it. And anyway, that costs like fucking four hundred sixty dollars to fix. And then like now my check engine light is like I don't know. I think it's like a. I, did some codes i think it's like a gas cap issue but i don't i don't know i just tried to screw it on i don't know how fucking long i don't know so i gotta get my shit fixed before april 19th to get my ticket dismissed and then i got another ticket for my brake light and i can't get that one dismissed so i'm gonna have to pay that and just pain in the ass fucking but the cop it is it's weird i'm like thank you after the cop walks away and I'm like, wait, why am I thanking this motherfucker? He just wrote me a ticket. But he was like, you could get this dismissed, you know, if you can get it fixed before you go to court. And I'm trying to do that. And I will. It's just, I don't know. Fucking, uh, stress. Anyway, this cop, these cops, man, this cop is funny as hell. Yeah, you're going to jail, dude. You got a warrant. It's fucked up. Oh, he's real. <laughs> there he goes. Ha <laughs> ha. He's right. And super cop. Look at him. This cop is loving it. He's like, I'm on cops. This is my fucking moment to shine. It's my fucking moment to shine. Look at him. He's going to he's gonna tackle the motherfucker. It's rare to see here that nowadays. A white male running for... Oh, look at him. That dude's... He's, he's going, dude. Look. I was like... Oh, stop or I'll shoot you in the back. <laughs> you know he's not going to shoot him in the butt. He got him. He got his ass. Look at him. He's like, bitch. Yeah, was that a kick to the face? Was that a kick to the face? <laughs> this is how the cops used to deal with these fucking people. Yeah. Get the f you were in the wrong part of town, son. He got his ass. Stay back, bitch. She was going to pick him up. <laughs> oh, shit. His bitch. Look, she's... Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Were those her titties popping out? No. Oh, she's, you're going down too, bitch. Oh, no. White people behaving badly. That, that, you have to go back a long time to 1989 cops to see that because there was like a big complaint that like all the cops episodes, they went to all the cities where you'd see all the crime and it was just like everyone complained like all the suspects were black or at least not white. Anyway, you get the point. This super cop here, but let's look at a cop failing completely. This is like, this cop, this is hilarious. This cop, he wanted to, you know, he was, he's like, this is my, I'm, I'm going to shine here. I'm going to shine. And he like, he like gets a flat tire on some train tracks trying to chase after some dude on a fucking motorbike or some shit. And it's hilarious. Like, this is like the opposite of super cop. I always wanted to be on cops. And then when he did, this is what happened. Kind of sad. Quiet day so far. Kind of a sad story. I got the cameraman to my right and the sound man in the back seat. I see a motorcycle. The motorcycle's messing around. 
I know it's an illegal cycle. I know it doesn't have a place. I can see that. He looks at me. I look at him. And he's gone. Down the road he goes. The chase is on. Let's see if he's going off road again here. He's going off road. Yeah, he's going off road. Look at him go. See him? He's on a, like a little motorbike or some shit. Yeah. The dust is kicking up and you can't see anything. Suddenly the dust lifts and there are the tracks. I hit the brakes and I thought, oh no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh no. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. He's trying to be super cop. He's got the cops camera team with him. They're like, yeah, officer, whatever. Turns out officer doofus here. <laughs> and then I, I think he, the dude on the dirt bike looks back and he's like, <laughs> he just takes off again. Yeah. Uh, oh, 21. Yeah, 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 I don't have him stop. My dumb ass fucking... Yeah, this is funny, man. I, I, I kind of feel bad. This cop, he, you know, I'm sure, like, every cop out there, like, wants to be on this show and, like, you know, really be, like, fucking, like, take down a criminal, slam his ass to the ground, fucking be like, bitch. And this guy, he, he's like, no, I don't have him stop. In fact, I... My car is stuck on the... And then a train comes. A fucking train. <laughs> but luckily, it's like... The track uh, the diverted. I mean, it's not... I don't... The tracks. There's only one thing that's going to make this any worse. And I hear it. Southbound along the tracks here towards Scott. Oh, oh no. I hear, uh, I hear a train coming. You better let them know to stop that train. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. You better move your fucking... So then I try to car off the tracks. Yeah, I would think the, that'd be the first thing I would do. I wouldn't even, like, I, I wouldn't even, like, get out of my car until the car was off the track. You know what come off the tracks? I can't believe it. I'm in trouble. Really, dude? I think you could get that car off that track. Yeah, the cops. Look, that was a cameraman for the cops. He's like, really, dude? Train that's about to take me out. All I have right now is <laughs> if I can get this car off the track, yeah, away, I'm fine. The train hits my car and I'm gonna get suspended. Yeah, dude, you you <laughs> this is like the the saddest like cop ever to show up on the show of cops because you know you want to be super cop, right? You want them to see you like tackling the suspect, you know, fucking not maybe maybe like even having to use deadly force and like a one shot headshot kill or something. I mean, actually they're trained to aim at the center mass, but you know, and everyone should aim at the center mass because it's easier. To, anyway. Um, yeah. So, and this guy goes on there and he, he gets his car and, and he's at no date. Well, I'll surprise. It's not a surprise. Anyway, his car isn't going to get hit. The tr train doesn't hit his car. It, 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 there is no danger, but it's still funny. And this is his moment on cops. And it's just, it's kind of funny. It's kind of sad. But, yeah. No. Oh, no, he's hanging out loud. I didn't even know he was. <laughs> he turns off. Yeah. Yeah, all, all of his <laughs> felt. <laughs> They're all laughing at him like, yeah, really. Be quite as high as they were. See those tracks come in and you lock up the brakes and you just know this is gonna hurt. <laughs> damage control. You just hope you ride it out. And then you try to get it off the tracks and hope that They're like, yeah, dude, whatever. Oh no. There's another train coming. This is not happening. Yeah, that's you right. Could have yanking, but you can understand watching that six minute piece. All you see saw that uh, tow truck driver pulling up, pulling my car off. Trouble is it took him twenty to thirty minutes to get to me. Meanwhile, I'm dodging trains the whole way. He's only two blocks away from me, and he can't find me. Well, thing. yeah, dude. I mean, you're on the train tracks, so like. Oh, and he's moving faster. Oh, now <laughs> you're fucked. 
I've seen so many trains in that area. So quick, it's like this sort of <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Get that thing off the tracks. I don't need another heart attack. Well, you get into a chase with a dirt bike and no good's going to come of it. I just don't. Oh, my car. Oh, my car. Yeah, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. You know, cops, they, they want their whole lives. You know, they, they're like, it's my shot. The cops cruise. Well, not anymore. Not anymore because they discontinued the show, which is bullshit. Because it was a great show. <laughs> great. Like, one of the greatest shows. Really, right now. Anyway, it was a great show. And, um, yeah, so, what a, I don't know, Think take of that what you will. That's how old school cops was, just going in a different direction for YouTube. I am not going to post any political anything on YouTube. Or, I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I'm pushing it, posting anything on YouTube. Motherfuckers hate me. They take down videos for nothing shit that everyone else is talking about but i'm not allowed to talk about so i don't know go find my shit on bitshoot <laughs> that's where you can find my videos i'm uploading anything that i ever upload to youtube from now on i'm gonna upload to bitshoot and my content will get better in the future it's like uh when i get my laptop i have plans i have ideas for videos several videos i'm gonna make and uh it'll be worth it but you know i need to get my shit together like i said i have court dates and paying money out the ass to fix my fucking car who cares right you know this is everyone's got problems you know 99 problems but a bitch ain't one i love you mandy anyway uh i hope all of you have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next video and uh yeah bring back that show the cops bad boys bad boys what you gonna do love that shit man since i was a little guy big fan and uh, any police officers out there, hear my voice. Uh, thank you for your service. And uh, please don't write me another ticket. <laughs> I'm trying to get my shit fixed. Uh, anyway, but thank you for your service. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.